Hi y'all, happy Friday. I'm Laurie, welcome back to Laurie and Billie Jean Let's Eat, where we are making every one of my grandma's recipes one at a time. Today I'm making a recipe called Graham Cracker Delights. I was asking my dad about this recipe and he called them icebox cookies, so I think they're the same thing. The instructions are extremely unclear. So I'm going with my gut on this one. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. But as ever, if you would like to check out the recipe, try it yourself, make your own tweaks, I'm going to have it linked in the description below. So you can click that and go to my website and take the recipe from there. So as ever, let's get started. So there are two parts to this recipe. You have to make the cookie itself and then the icing as well. So I've kind of split the ingredients up by what goes with what. For the cookies, we're going to need sugar, two sticks of margarine. It called out margarine specifically, so that's what I got. One egg, some chopped nuts, some canned milk. I'm starting to wonder if my grandmother had something against just regular milk. So canned milk it is. A cup of graham crackers. You can get them already crushed, but they didn't have the already crushed ones. So I just got regular ones. Figured they'd be easy enough to crush up. And then it said angel flake coconut or angel something coconut flakes. They didn't have those. I try to honor the recipes as much as possible when they have brand names on them, but that can be difficult to find. So we just got generic food line coconut flakes. Coconut's gross anyway. You heard it here first. Then for the icing, we are going to need, it said a box of confectioner sugar. I don't know if the boxes were the same that my grandma was using. I had already opened some, so I'm just gonna use what's in there. I'm a little bit worried about that because who knows if that's right or not. And then said two sticks of butter, so not margarine, but butter this time for the icing. And then a little bit of the canned milk will have to go in the icing as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on mixing some of the ingredients together. So oh, when I said the instructions were a little unclear, here's why. It says two sticks margarine, one cup sugar, one egg beaten, and half a cup of canned milk. Bring these ingredients to a boil, remove from heat, and stir in the following. So I guess I'm wondering if I should do like we did with the pie and cream the sugar with the margarine. That to me makes sense. I don't think I'm gonna screw anything up too bad if I do that. So I'm gonna put everything together that way and then put them on a boil. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so now might be when we figure out if I made the right call by creaming everything together first or if that was a mistake. It says to bring it to a boil. So maybe it was a mistake because this is already kind of feeling like more of a batter than something to bring to a boil. But you know, this is what the show is about. We learn, we process, we forgive ourselves for everything we have wrought. I'm putting it in here. Like I said, even if it needs to be brought to a boil and I did it wrong, I don't think I've done lasting damage here. But you know, I'm always happy to find out I'm wrong and I've ruined something. That's what life's about. So I'm gonna let that stir for a minute. In the meantime, I'm gonna start on the icing which is just the powdered sugar, a stick of butter, and a very small amount of canned milk. Okay. I assume that means we don't want it to get super liquidy, right? So, I thought I used the bigger bowl, hmm, who knows. So I only had two half sticks of butter left, but luckily I can do math and that equals one full stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the microwave again. Coming off just lovely. Pop these in the microwave and then I'll cream together with the powdered sugar and the 
small amount of condensed milk. Stay tuned. So I made a huge mistake, you guys. I was really working on my icing over here. You might have seen, I don't know how fast it was going, but I did not, in fact, need a full box of powdered sugar. It's really sweet as is. I got a pretty decent consistency, but I was not stirring my cookies. And look, now I have burnt cookie dough. I don't have enough to remake this, so we're just gonna have to go with what we have. It's a little burnt. Hopefully it won't taste too bad. Luckily, I'm not really feeding this to anyone but myself, so if it's bad, I can just throw it out and suffer alone. Um, so now that this is mixed and it was boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and add the coconut flakes, graham crackers, and it said any nuts. I had pecans already around, so we're gonna do pecans. So I'll do that, and then we'll start laying it all out together. Every time I do one of these videos, I'm reminded of the perils of not reading. So, you know, when they give you these tests in elementary school and they tell you to do all this weird stuff and then at the end it says, don't follow any of the inst instructions, just go back to the beginning, put your name on this worksheet and turn it in. Well, actually I'm good at those because they're really obvious when they gave them to you. But this is essentially what happens every time I, I do one of my grandma's recipes. So first off, I was supposed to have a can of Angel Flake Coconut. Yeah, so I've got coconut flakes. I don't know what a can of Angel Flake Coconut is. And I probably won't find out right now, but I just put in some, some coconut flakes. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. So that's fine. And then the other piece I missed is that you actually make a layer of graham crackers. And then you have another layer of graham crackers on top of your mixture. I don't know if I actually have enough graham crackers for that. So we're gonna do our best to cover the bottom of my pan with graham crackers, but we might have to fudge it a little bit because I just mixed up a bunch of graham crackers to make the, our crust. Okay, 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 actually, you know what, that'll work. Yeah, yeah, baby. cracker base. Now we're taking our mixture of cookies, which we all know I screwed up and let burn. And we are adding them. Oh, here's what it looks like if you're wondering with a little burn. I can smell the burn, so that concerns me on a taste level. So, cool. That on there. I guess I should have tasted this mixture and make sure made sure it was good. But you know what? Tasting's for suckers when I eat this. And then we'll know. Okay. It's not bad. It's burnt. But not disgusting. It wasn't like burnt very bad, so that might work in our favor where it's tolerable. I don't actually hate the the taste of coconut. I just think the, the texture is really disgusting. So it's fine. It doesn't bother me too much in this where it's going to be cooked. I mean, I can tell it's there, but anyway, it's not terrible. I don't think it's going to be a little burnt. It could taste better, but I don't think it's going to taste terrible. Okay. So then we do another layer of our nice graham crackers. One, two, three. Oh yeah. No, it's not perfect, but we're gonna make it work. What I'm seeing, there we go. Cool, and now we just put the icing on. Mm. 
a weird recipe. top here another one of my little spreaders so it's in a very small amount of the you know I was actually thinking I got condensed milk and I don't know that that's actually what that called for so that might have made everything a little bit sweeter because a lot of times this is canned milk and I like honestly don't know if that means condensed milk or just regular canned milk whatever that is this seems so old school which i guess it is since it was one of my mama's recipes but definitely not what i was expecting when it was called graham cracker delights so that pretty much does it. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and it sits overnight. So in the morning, if I wanna have cookies for breakfast, I can. And who doesn't wanna have cookies for breakfast, huh? What kind of monster milk wouldn't want that? Okay, I'll check back in with these tomorrow. Cut off a piece, taste it, and have a generally just really great time. Okay, so here's what our final icebox cookie slash graham cracker delight looks like. It looks nothing like a cookie. It's more like a, a brownie with icing almost, a blondie. Hard to say. So now it's time to eat our little concoction here. So it's quite frozen which is good I suppose so it's hard to see but we've got like the layer of the layer of the mixture the graham crackers and the icing on top the icing's kind of sliding off but you know here we go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's really tasty it's got a nice texture with the icing and the crunch from some of the nuts and the coconut flakes. You know, not my favorite texture, but it sort of works in this. It doesn't bother me too much. So yeah, I think pretty successful dessert overall. I might, considering how much powdered sugar it told me to put in and how much I still I put in, I actually might cut back a little on the powdered sugar if I was making this again. It's a little too sweet for me personally. Anyway, yep, that's it. Next week, I think we're gonna make ham delights, I believe. And that is, again, skipping ahead, there's still two more desserts on the page we're currently on, but I've got a ton of dessert right now, so we'll get back to that. Thanks for watching, bye. Fun fact, there were in fact more graham crackers in this box. I wouldn't have been out of graham crackers.